and morning express with me Brian Asili and of course kuna kuanga na wenye isho eh tuelewade kieleweke please are these hot topics we am all alone but i'm not lonely i'm i'm just and i'm not okay I don't want to get into the details of CG single nini vitu kama hizo. I am here, okay? <laughs> But first things first, I just want to make sure that you get to know that uh, there are a couple of things that are going around. Uh, we're going to be talking some of the about some of the artists who have released new music, but I will rank it out of 10 and tell me what you think about about Tanasha Donna's song. Kiluya imeingia hapo hivyo and there's nothing we can do about it. Big shout out to Duncan Haemba who's already tuning in and loving everything about Lofty Matamu and uh, freedom walk of course like in a saint p but uh, there's one story that i want to start with and it's the hashtag enough is enough hashtag stop police brutality that is one of the stories that has been doing rounds this week and those hashtags have been pushed by people like daisy mutai who is a young lady that decided to peg it on some of the things that have been happening especially during the curfew now statistics has it that uh, during this corona period more people have died to police brutality as compared to corona the virus so that's why people are creating a fuss about it and so many young kenyans have been inspired not to go to the streets because of of these police injustices but then they've decided to go on twitter and use the hashtag stop police brutality it's one form of protest and people have been asking how should we protest we don't know how to protest Uh, wengine wanasema if you if you go into the streets and shout and howl and picket that's the best way to protest wengine wanasema we shouldn't even talk about racism first let's talk about police brutality first but i i i'm just saying that there is no special way there is no particular way of 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 picketing or actually protesting so if you're out there and you have something to say probably against the police brutality you also need to just speak up and talk about it some artists have also joined into that hashtag and of course we've seen people like Octopizo and Yashinsky talking about how uh, especially Yashinsky he's talked about how he lost a friend to he's lost so many friends to police uh, injustices and of course br- brutality so you can actually just take a look at that Octopizo was also seen holding a one uh, it's a banner with the names of some of the victims that we've lost due to this uh, police brutality yasin moyo hamis juma calvin omondi john muliro peter gasheru eric ngeve idris bukolo and ramadhao juma those are some of the names of the people who've suffered severely and of course in kenya we decided to also uh, take it to the next level people like uh, activist boniface mwangi decided to go uh, pale kwa the us embassy to protest using the hashtag black lives matter because of the police brutality that is happening in the united states of america and i think the americans have taken this to the next level like in texas we had the horseback riders